welcome. I thought today we could go through a couple of these magazines about some delicious recipes for the holidays. We have Better Homes and Gardens, Fall, Recipes, 80 Warm and Cozy Dishes, New Ways with Pumpkin, Thanksgiving Sides and Sweets, Ultimate Chilies and Some great general uh, 
meal plan ideas. Bacon and Chipotle Ranch beef and pasta. I always need something super quick for weeknights. And try to leave the longer recipes for when I'm able to get to them, like on the weekend. But these look delicious. Then we have pair up. Maybe you're not into apples, so you can try some pear recipes, such as this peppery pear vanilla scones. Mm, I love a good scone. They're not actually too hard to make either, at least some recipes. Creamy pears and squash with savory streusel. Rosemary potato gratin. Looks good. Yeah, you just let me know when there's something that really strikes your fancy. Pear tarts with caramelized pastry cream. Mm. Oh look, and they even go through the different pears. There's one, two, three, four. These look very flavorful. You have cheddar and bacon. Oh, you like that. This one is Dill Havarti, beer bread with caraway seeds. And this is cheese curd beer bread with stone ground mustard. You like the bacon one? Well, why not? Just in case. Okay. Chili day chili. <laughs> Fifteen bean and sausage chili. Chilies are so great for meal prep and just a nice hearty food for the winter time and the fall. This is queso green chicken chili, bayou chili, if bayou chili, then you have red lentil curry chili, pork and pumpkin, oh that's nice, of course you have to have cornbread. refreshing, except I know I'm not really a bourbon person, so I'm not sure if I would enjoy it, but maybe there's a cocktail or two you might want to make for your guests. Blackberry bourbon renewal. This looks like it has blackberry in it. Then we have bourbon banana bread, in case you prefer the sweets with your alcohol. Bourbon seems to be the star of the show for these recipes. Hot brown bourbon cheese dip. That sounds really good. Chocolate walnut bourbon bars. Side. 
sides and sweeps. Love a good side. So we have mushroom, goat cheese, and grape flatbread. Roasted veggies. That looks delicious. You want to mark that one? Okay. sort of layered together. Almost like a cake looking structure. Yeah. Green salad and grapefruit with avocado. Then we have a pomegranate orange cream tart. A chocolate chess pie. Toffee pumpkin pie bars. That sounds really good. Maybe we can jazz up the desserts a little bit. Okay. So, these are the recipes for the items we just saw. Strudeloo. With an oh-so-delicate, flaky crust and two savory filling options. Strudel is worth every minute of extra effort, but we also have a shortcut version if you need to get it to the serving plate faster. I do love a good shortcut. <laughs> if it's equally as tasty, I don't usually mind. Apple cheese strudel. So you use sharp cheddar cheese, sage, toasted walnuts, and then of course, your strudel dough. And it even shows you how to stretch and fill your strudel dough. I think this sounds really tasty. We could always save it and uh, see if we want to venture into strudel land. Then we have filio dough, mushroom and leek strudel. Oh, it looks so good. Pastry is just so delicious. I know it can be such a pain to make, and I only think that because I watched the Great British Pick Off, um, which is what it's called in the U.S. <laughs> Pastry week is always such an intense week. <laughs> I love that show during the holidays because it just really puts you in the mood to bake. Smooth and creamy buttermilk. Interesting. Buttermilk Danish pancakes. There's the Danish word. I cannot pronounce that. I love a good pancake. Then you have buttermilk brined roasted chicken. We love a good roasted chicken. Yeah, let's mark it. Just in case.
roasted carrots with ginger. Smaller is better. For the sweetest carrots, look for young, thin skin roots that are one inch or less in diameter. I think if I had a garden, potentially that would be helpful. Then we have carrot fritters with tahini lemon yogurt. That looks really tasty. Sweet potatoes with Moroccan style chickpeas. Ooh, chickpeas are such a great food. It's both hearty and light, I feel. It is a great addition to so many dishes. Herbed celery root and golden potato souffle. A souffle sounds fancy. German style rainbow potato salad. Top it off. Chicken and mushroom pot pie. I like this. It kind of is like pieces of the pastry and still shows the filling. It's kind of nice. It even says scrappy savvy leftover puff pastry. Don't let that extra puff pastry go to waste. Make an easy dessert. with cinnamon sugar. What's well, a cool tip? Sage advice. Mm. Creamy butternut gnocchi with sausage and sage. I really like the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. It's very tasty. Baked brie with caramelized apples and sage. Baked brie with really most fruit and or even like a jelly or preserve. Um, it's just so delicious. There is a recipe I really like for baked brie. I'll have to share it with you. Um, it has, I think it's just brie, right? You cut open the top a little and you put raspberry preserve or jam and then almonds and I think I can't recall I don't think you add honey I think it's pretty sweet with the raspberry but all of that it's like a raspberry almond melty brie with baguette bread toasted it's so good we love a good brie next there's apart sage and the white cheddar dinner rolls. That sounds really good. Let's save that one. Just in case we want to try out different roll recipes and see what we like or, you know, people always love rolls so you can make a couple different types of rolls biscuits and people can choose their favorite flavors. Mix it up a little bit. All in the family. Bacon and Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts can be very controversial. <laughs> I feel like some people really like it or don't like it. I, I like them. My husband, not so much. I do, however, agree you have to make them super crispy to be Otherwise, they can kind of be a little, I don't know, raw tasting. So, lots of good flavor can help them be really delicious. This has bacon in it. Then we have roasted cauliflower and chickpeas with chimichurri. Beer braised smoked pork chops and cabbage. Warm kale and potato chicken salad. Chorizo potato tacos with collards. Oh, that sounds really good. I feel like that's like a breakfast. <laughs> breakfast food. Congee with soy glazed shiitake and bok choy. Oh, that looks yummy. 
mushroom fried kohlrabi rice. Ooh, and then the pumpkin ginger snap sweet rolls. That sounds delicious. A great breakfast item or even just shepherd's pies. Very fancy. Cran apple spritzer. 
an easy five ingredient drink to make for your guests for the holidays. Serve it hot or cold. It looks like it has lemon lime soda, apples, orange, fresh or frozen cranberries, a cinnamon stick, and honey. That doesn't sound too bad at all. It's nice to have a couple options for drinks, so we'll just uh, save a couple. And then here we have lamb pastry bun. celery stalks before washing in order to properly clean out all of the nooks and crannies. So these are shrimp and cucumber. Is it canopy? I can never remember. Cranberry endive appetizers. So if you really want to impress your guests, these might be nice to try out, especially with how they look. These are caprese tomato bites. Look how cute these are. Caprese tomato bites. Then we have pomegranate pistachio crostini. Crostinis are honestly some of the best appetizers. So it's cream cheese, with pomegranate seeds, chopped pistachios. And it looks like a little bit of dark chocolate. That sounds delicious. I think we should save it. Okay. Then we have mulled wine margaritas. Interesting. I believe it's warm. You can even make them into shapes to represent the holidays. I like that a lot. Let's give that one a go. You're gonna have so many appetizers, people may not be ready for the main course. <laughs> That's okay, people can take home left. So these are, this is one of those um, dishes you can prep the night before, like what I said earlier. That's really nice. Merry Mimosas. Now that's a drink I can get behind. Perhaps you want to keep it a little tropical, you know? Drop it. And I like how they put it in like a sort of tower Christmas tree shape. Everything breakfast sliders. Ooh, what's this? The raspberry cinnamon French toast. Oh, that sounds so good. Here we have air fryer sausage bacon bites with bacon breakfast sausage links and brown sugar. Oh, it sounds delicious. And a chocolate chip Dutch baby. Ooh, that sounds really good. I might just save that one. <laughs> Anything chocolate chip, I'm sold. 
muffins, pancakes, cookies, and you can toss a little fruit in there too. We have air fryer hash browns, cran apple baked oatmeal, mm, that sounds good, hot cocoa for a crowd, that might actually really come in handy. Sometimes people want a simple drink, you know? Something sweet and comforting. Breakfast scramble. Pumpkin cinnamon pancakes. What a gorgeous stack of pancakes. Festive cranberry fruit salad. Or berry breakfast smoothies. They're really good. A variety of foods. <laughs> Spirited sides and salads. Looks festive. Parmesan potato wedges. A kale Caesar salad. Honey pecan and goat cheese salad. Lentil white bean pilaf. Scalloped cabbage. Sausage kale and squash bread pudding. Mm. Cheesy baked asparagus. Ooh, that looks tasty. squash pie spinach salad brussels sprouts with pears spiced carrots with pistachio we have some beets and ricotta with broccoli oh not ricotta risotto Merry main dishes. Duck with brandy, bing cherry sauce. Then we have baked fish and rice. Broiled lobster tail, rosemary beef roast over cheesy polenta. They have quite a variety. Beef Wellington. I tried Beef Wellington for the first time at Hell's Kitchen in Vegas. It was the most delicious thing I've probably eaten to this date. It was so good. Would you be up to the task of making your own is the question. <laughs> Why not? Save it. Who knows, you might want to venture into making it. So delicious. Pomegranate short ribs. Roasted pumpkin lasagna. I don't think I've ever seen a pumpkin lasagna before. Christmas pork pie. I do like how cute that is. Winning cranberry glazed ham. Ham is such a staple, I feel. It is a delicious uh, addition to the holiday feast. This over here is lamb. Mushroom sauce. Then we have... I don't even know what that's called. Bracciole? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's 
lasagna. Pasta and veggies and creamy scallop grapes. Bourbon maple salmon, herbed rib roast. I think that is a great option just in case. uses a wine-soaked cheesecloth to give you a juicy turkey and flavorful gravy. Well, they had me a flavorful gravy. Gravy is probably one of the most important parts of the holiday meal. If there's no gravy, it's just not the same. herb Christmas tree so you can make your shapes from bread very nicely most of the foods eggnog mini loaves I don't even think I've had eggnog recently I think I might have tried it a long time ago I just don't even recall pepperoni For Santa, gingerbread pumpkin trifle. A trifle. <laughs> like that friend's episode where Rachel tries to make a trifle and she accidentally uses ground beef. Um, it's a very funny episode. <laughs> we have eggnog ice cream with hot buttered rum sauce. That sounds tasty. Then we have coconut eggnog pie. Cran raspberry pie. And butterscotch pudding tort. Then we have some Christmas candy cane cookies. I know uh, we've made that before in my family. Although I think they were more almond and less peppermint. There's packaging seasonal sweets. When I was little, uh, my grandmother every year would have us over to bake cookies. We lived just a few doors down from her, and after we made all of the festive cookies, we would wrap them in plates with festive gift wrapping paper, tissue paper, and we would go door to door to our streets neighbors uh, on our street and we gave the cookies out and it was a very uh, special gesture that she did every year and allowed us to partake in 
and of course we were in it for the cookies mostly <laughs> and of course spending time with her but it was always nice to make that tradition and now that she has passed, we continue to keep that tradition of making cookies together. Um, although me and my siblings live in different places now, so we don't exactly give out cookies anymore, but perhaps that's something we'll do in the future. We shall see. Pumpkin cannoli cake roll. A cake roll. Those are also something on the Great British Bake Off that... <laughs> it's a very delicate matter. break the cake. Mexican hot chocolate cupcakes. Peppermint cheesecake on a stick. Spiced pomegranate pear cake. Ooh, that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Sweet potato cranberry cake. Chocolate strawberry celebration cake. Easy drum. Hanukkah lemon earthed salmon a sweet potato latkes latkes <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it but these are tasty these in general are so good green beans round of chala chala bread so good chicken and sausage Tortellini Alfredo casserole. Interesting. It's weird because it looks like cinnamon rolls, but then you have chicken tortellini, so my brain is like, what am I looking at? <laughs> Hearty and pasto romaine salad. Sparkling citrus punch. pizza stuffed flink steak. Oh, that is interesting. <gasps> Look at this cake. Isn't that so pretty? Ornament cake. Oh, that's like a bunch of fondant design. <laughs> that is a showstopper. I would, I would totally love that cake. Plenty of ideas from this one. Let's move on to our last uh, magazine. Alright, we have our last magazine, Taste of Home, the easiest ever Thanksgiving. So these are like Thanksgiving type foods or, you know, whatever festive holiday you want to celebrate. I'm sure some of these could apply. It's just one of those things where you don't know how to eat it. Okay. Yes, you cran. Cranberry wild rice. That sounds delicious. Ravioli with creamy squash sauce and beefy French onion pot pie. Ooh, a French onion pot pie. Sounds good. Rotisserie to the rescue. Seeing a lot of pomegranate must be in season. There used to be a pomegranate tree in my backyard when we were growing up. Uh, actually, it was in our neighbor's backyard, but the tree grew over our backyard too. And sometimes we would pick the fallen pomegranates and eat them. Love that. 
Mayonnaise gives grilled cheese a crisp exterior. That is so true. I love good grilled cheese. Grilled cheese and tomato soup are great staples for the season. Spice World. Swirl bread. So you can make your own swirl bread. Greater taters. The no fret feast. Take the hassle out of hosting with these simple solutions to Thanksgiving dinner's most daunting dilemmas. Yeah, one year me and my sister made a Thanksgiving dinner all by ourselves and it was the longest day we've ever had. It's a long, long day. Now our family likes to done it last year and we're gonna do it this year. We're catering. Um, it's only a couple of us though, so I think if there was more people, we'd probably make it ourselves and do like potluck style, but instead this year we're just getting local, a local restaurant uh, to cater the food for just a couple of us and it's gonna make our lives so much easier and supporting a local restaurant at the same time. We have quick cranberry red sauce, deep fried turkey, pressure cooker, bacon and cranberry Brussels sprouts, gluten free stuffing, and twice baked sweet potatoes. Don't forget the freeze and bake rolls. So it gives you the recipes for all of them. You want to try the sweet potatoes, okay? Sweet potatoes are delicious. ready to roll. Freeze and bake rolls. I love that. Fiddly yolk cups. Apple cider smash. Mm -mm. This is deep fried turkey. Maybe we'll save that one too. as a Brussels sprout, potentially might be. Quick cranberry sauce. You could always get that one too. Speaking of Brussels sprouts, new traditions. Silky chocolate pie. Ooh, I love a good chocolate pie. I just think making my own pie can be a little daunting, but um, Everyone has their talents. <laughs> this is a ginger pumpkin pie with streusel. Sounds tasty. We have walnut cranberry pie. Browned butter chess pie. Browned butter. That actually sounds really finished all my pumpkin seeds recently, so maybe till next year. Or I can grab another pumpkin, perhaps, and make more. I like to roast mine with garlic, a little garlic powder and salt and pepper. It's super tasty. Some 
some mixers. I do actually have the KitchenAid mixer. Um, it is really nice during the baking season, I will say. Then we have buffalo chicken crunch wraps. Okay, we're really diving into other foods here. Shrimp risotto. Coconut almond chocolate chunk ice cream. Mm. Air fryer lemon Oreos. Wow. These look like pop tarts. Stew. Oh, I thought that said an air fryer stew at first. We have low carb cheesy cheeseburgers. Louisiana meat pie. All really tasty, cozy recipes. Ooh, these look so pretty. Day of the Dead cookies. Grazing gobble. Can't have a festive party without a trick. It looks so beautiful, and I love that you can really not have to, you know, make anything look super perfect, right? It's just a matter of putting things around and you can shift things, but look how pretty that is. That is so cute. we were able to find some things you like and can make for those gatherings this season. I'm sure whatever you make will be just delicious. Or if you prefer to buy it at the store or from a local restaurant, I think that's just as good. It's all about being together with the people you care about right? Or with your pet, or maybe some well-needed alone time. <laughs> All that matters. All right. Well, thank you for going through this with me, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>